this is the best quality for digitizing the old-fashioned negative, although I need to do some research and tricks. Please follow the steps and hope it works for you too and bring your memories back. Tools you need to prepare, a film holder which I DIY myself. A piece of glass which is my iPad glass protector. A LED lamp or any white light sources. A cartoon box for secure the LED lamp. A tripod. An extended tube that made the 50mm lens work as a macro lens. A DSL camera, a full frame camera will give a better resolution. A 50mm lens, I choose a manual old-fashioned 1.450mm Nikon lens that provide a better image quality than an AF lens. Software you need, Lightroom Classic. Negative Lab Pro plug-in. Please follow the link to download the free Trail Negative Lab Pro plug-in. I use a piece of white plastic card and cut out a square size slightly larger than the 135mm negative image size. Place two pieces of plastic card above and below the hole to hold the negative like a track. Double check the size is slightly larger the image size. This extended tube I bought from Amazon, it has three focal length tubes that can stack up or work individually depends on your needs. I use this old manual 1.450mm lens that give a little better image quality compare with the other AF lens. Stack the 12mm and 20mm that capture maximum image area. Attach the extended tube lens with the camera like regular lens. Switch the camera in manual mode and try different combinations of aperture and shuttle speed that works best. In my case I use 5.6 aperture and 125 shuttle speed. This is my whole setting of the negative film scanning that works quite efficiently. Adjust a focal length and sharpness.
Use timer to enable the stability that capture sharper image. That's all you need to scan the negative image. Now, use the Lightroom Classic with the Negative Pro plugin to convert the negative to positive image. The Negative Pro plugin works more efficient and straightforward, although Photoshop works well too. If you have advanced knowledge in Photoshop, the quality of the image is about the same. First, import the negative image and rotate it. Then choose the Negative Pro plugin from File Plugin Extra. There are lots of options in the plugin, play around with different combinations that works better. Use the spot removal tool to remove dusts on the image and use the graduated filter to enhance the blue sky. or even remove the scratches and edit the image in Photoshop as well. I use the Photoshop Spot Healing tool to retouch the scratches in that building. After all dusts and scratches removed, the picture looks amazing. Hope this video helped, thanks for watching, please like, share and subscribe my channel.